Hello my friend, in today's video I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite go-to breakfasts. As you can see on the screen right now, we're going to be making prot meal, which is basically oats and a scoop of protein powder combined together. Now the problem with that breakfast is that it's super low in volume, which makes it really easy to overeat for people with a big appetite. So that's why I came up with a solution in order to fix this problem. So if you're the type of person that's hungry all the time, make sure to stick around until the end. So without further ado, let's get into my mom's kitchen and make this apple cinnamon oatmeal. All right, first step, you might be wondering why I'm adding some water into a pot. That's because we're gonna make some cauliflower rice. So add some water into a pot, turn the heat on, put the cover on and let it boil. All right, so now that your water is boiling, take the cover off. You're gonna take your frozen cauliflower florets and uh, dump it right into your boiling water. Now that you dump those bad boys in the water, put the cover on, let it boil. Once it boils, um, just take them off the heat, turn around, and you're gonna drain those little bad boys. Like so. All right, now that we reach this point, we really only have one more step to do until our cauliflower rice is ready. So take your cooked cauliflower, add it to your Ninja Blender, put the cover on, and you're gonna wanna press the pause button once, and then you take it off and you shake it so everything mixes fine. And I usually go for only three pulses, cause remember, you want to make some cauliflower rice, not some cauliflower puree. So be careful, don't overdo it. And um, by the way, you don't have to have a Ninja Blender. Those are just the best on the market. So there you have it, your cauliflower rice, nice and ricey. At this point, we are pretty much done with the cauliflower rice. So I just like to dump it into a meal prep container so I can keep it in the fridge for a longer time. Now, you must be asking yourself, Hey, Tom, why the hell would you add cauliflower rice into your oatmeal? That's disgusting. Well, the reason why we do that is because cauliflower is actually a very low-calorie veggie, which is going to help you add more volume. Um, you, it's basically going to add a lot of thickness, a lot of gooiness to your oatmeal, and overall, you're just going to be able to take more bites. So that's what we want. We want to be more full. And that is exactly what the cauliflower is going to do for you. By the way, don't stress about it. You won't even be able to taste it. Moving on to the fun part. Let's make the actual oatmeal. So you're going to put about 30 grams of oats into a bowl and cover it with some water. Like, like, like when you're making regular oatmeal, basically. So you just send it in the microwave for two minutes and you let it do its thing um yeah so while you're waiting make some coffee beep 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 everything's ready take it out and um yeah so next step you're gonna take your cauliflower rice that you made the day before and i never measure how much i put in really it doesn't really matter Put as much as you want. I go for like four scoops. And then you mix, mix, mix everything together until everything is nice and combined. Like that. And then you're going to take it back to the microwave and send it in for another two minutes. All right. Now that this bad boy is ready, let's add some ingredients into it from this point you can literally add any ingredient that you like but if you follow my steps you'll end up with a nice apple cinnamon oatmeal so first step i'm adding one pack of zero calorie sweetener you can use whatever one that you like and then i'm going to add a dash of salt as you guys might or might not know, salt is a secret ingredient and you can literally put it in anything that you make. It's going to make it much better. Last and final step, you're going to add one scoop of whey protein of your choice. Here I'm using the salted caramel whey protein. 
I really like this flavor in oatmeal. And from this point, you can literally eat it like that. It's going to be delicious. But I'm just going to add one last twist to it to make it more voluminous. So that final twist is only to add an apple into it. The apple is going to make you chew more, which is going to make you eat for longer. And that's actually a good thing for satiation. Eating for a longer period of time is going to make you more full and you're less likely to binge eat or eat something else on the side after you're done eating. So there you have it, the final product, huge and thick bowl of apple cinnamon oatmeal. Before moving on to the taste test, I just wanted to make a quick comparison between two bowls of oats. So on the right here, we have a store brand apple cinnamon oats and on the left we have the one made by myself in this video and as you guys can see the one that i made by myself is a much bigger bowl than the other one it's actually a lot thicker and it has much more volume than the other one which is a lot smaller volume wise as you guys can see on the screen right now I could literally finish that in less than a minute if you give me a spoon. So I just wanted to show that quickly to compare the volume of the two balls. And now let's just move on to the taste test. All right, folks. So we're going to start with this one, which is um, the Quaker apple cinnamon one. It's full of sugar, so it's probably going to taste good. So let's get into it. Take our first bite. Smells, smells like apples. Oh. It's actually not as good as I imagined. Not worth it. Definitely not worth it. All right, let's put that bitch to the side. Nope, I'm not eating that. So here we have the thick bowl packed with protein. Oh shit, <laughs> doesn't matter. All right, so the first thing I like with that bowl of oats is the volume. Not only the volume, but I also put those little pieces of apples on purpose because when you actually take a big bite you can take oats and apple and you can chew the apples make it that you can chew for a longer time because if you just eat oatmeal you can just swallow it without chewing you know so it doesn't make you very full and it actually takes time for the for your body to send signals to your brain to say that you're full. So it's quite beneficial to add a little bit of chewiness to your plates and yeah, so let's taste. I'm using my protein salted caramel whey protein and it's actually bomb. But I'm not surprised, I'm actually eating that every single morning before my workouts and yeah, that's it. So the winner, definitely this one, the homemade one, and this one, we're going to show it where it belongs. And in case you haven't guessed it yet, it's going right into the garbage. Right where it belongs. See ya. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate that you watch my video um let me know in the comments what you think about this recipe once you've tried it subscribe like the video if you liked it and i hope to see you in the next one see you